This is a demo of a network visualization tool. This tool was created at Utah State University. We use this tool to monitor the status of the public IP addresses in USU's network. We call this tool the blinking lights. It is currently monitoring live network activity. This traffic is monitored at the border of USU's network. Each light or dot represents an IP address. The visualizer is square, 256 dots by 256 dots. When an IP address sends or receives a TCP packet, the related dot is green. When an IP address sends or receives a UDP packet, the dot is red. When an IP address sends or receives any other protocol, the dot is blue. When the border firewall drops a packet destined for an IP address, the related dot is white. Traffic that mixes a variety of protocols, like Skype or peer-to-peer, -peer, has in-between colors. As you point to a dot, an overlay appears on the left, telling the IP address of that dot. The white rectangles represent allocations of groups of IP addresses for a related project. Most of these rectangles contain 256 addresses, or a slash 24 in CIDR notation. Some rectangles are bigger, some are smaller. Our biggest allocations are these three stripes. They are used in our wireless deployment. Each stripe is 4,096 addresses, or a slash 20. Finally, unused allocations of IP addresses have a light green background. These unused or dark areas don't have any active USU equipment. Potential IP addresses are arranged in blocks. Each block contains 256 addresses, or a slash 24. The IP addresses in an individual block are laid out in 16 rows of 16 IP addresses. The entire visualizer has 16 rows of blocks each row contains 16 blocks we chose this mapping for the visualizer because it matched the normal use of our IP addresses we have other mappings available including the mapping used in XKCD cartoon number 195. This tool does not show connections. It does not say who is talking to what. But the security team and the networking team find it valuable for a couple reasons. It is a living dynamic map. It helps us understand the size and nature of our network. And secondly, the visual presentation makes it easy to see some patterns of attack and reconnaissance that are hard to see in log files. Those high-speed scans are easy for anybody or anything to spot. But if you watch this for a while, you'll notice that there is a pattern to most of the dispersed white snowflakes that represent block packets. 
You can see that these block packets tend to congregate in the bottom half of each slash 24. Once we noticed this pattern, we looked into the log files and found that it was caused by the conficker worm. This computer worm was only searching the bottom half of each slash 24. If the number one principle of security is know yourself, then principle number two would have to be know when something changes. This visualization tool helps us achieve both principles.